So the once cherished queen of Twitter, Chrissy Teigen, has had a fall from grace just after she apologized for her past cyberbullying of Courtney Stoden. Project Runway designer Michael Costello posted a Twitter conversation he had with Chrissy from 2014, and it's one he says made him contemplate taking his own life. After an online hoax labeled him a racist, Chrissy came after him. She said, quote, racist people like you deserve to suffer and die. You might as well be dead. Your career is over. Just watch. Wow. Then teen mom alum Farah Abraham spoke out saying she got a nasty tweet from Chrissy and has yet to hear an apology. Hers Red. Farrah Abraham now thinks she's pregnant from her sex tape. In other news, you're a bleep and everyone hates you. Whoops, not other news. Sorry. Meanwhile, Chrissy's husband, John Legend, posted heart emojis on screen grabs from the apology on her Instagram. So, DBL Nation, we always want to hear from you. This has us asking, should Chrissy Teigen be forgiven? Vote now at dblvote.com. We see it trending all over Twitter, people wanting to cancel her. And we've had really lengthy discussions on the show about how extreme cancel culture can be. Looking at Chrissy's situation, looking that she's apologized, however, when Courtney Stoden said she received an apology, and then Courtney Stoden showed a screen grab of her Twitter saying that Chrissy Teigen has blocked her, so how was she ever supposed to receive this direct apology? Um, it does make you think, is this sincere that Chrissy Teigen is trying to apologize? I mean, I've never wished death upon anybody, especially coming from somebody who's, you know, had suicidal thoughts and have spoken openly on the show about going through dark, dark depression. You too, Tori. For sure. I can't imagine wishing that upon someone. Maybe as a teenager, never did it, but fine. But 2014, that was a handful of years ago. Yeah, and I have to be, I, I'm, some of you aren't, and I know that, but I'm a, I was a huge Chrissy Teigen fan. She was a woman who spoke her mind. She clapped back. She didn't take down to bullies. And I felt as a woman, I was a, she was a role model for me. I really did. Never in my life did I ever want anyone to wish for death and then on and on and on. I want to bury you. I want you to never come back. She put Michael Costello, she took jobs away from him. He couldn't get phone calls back. He thought about suicide and still thinks about it. So Chrissy Teigen, Look, I always want somebody to come back, but sometimes cancel culture is consequence culture, and I've said that, and her consequences can't be harsh enough. This is the worst reprehensible bullying behavior. Shame on you, Chrissy T. But, like, do you think some of this, like, we're to blame? You're to blame for deifying this person? No, because I don't tell people to go kill themselves. But what it, no, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying the fact that she, you put her on, uh, up on such a high pedestal, and what had she really done to earn that? A couple, like, good, good burns on Twitter? I think if you take the time and get to know somebody as a thorough human being inside and out and make a judgment call, even if they're, they're not a friend of yours, somebody's like, hey, I've read three of their books. I've, I've listened to three hours of them speak in full sentences at, at different events, and this is my determination of who they are as a person. I, I, and I follow them on social media, it's fine, but like, because they go at three people that you don't like either. It's not three then, people. It, Imagine I, how I'm, many more people I, she's gone no, 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 I'm saying, I'm saying she, she was known as the clapback queen. Yes, she was. So the people she was you're clapping saying a clap, sorry to cut you off, but you're saying a clap back queen. I'm saying a bullying. Probably, yeah, bullying, but you're probably to get some sort of like likes or clout. When you do a direct message, no one sees it. Right. You're not mm. doing it for likes. Right. So that is pure vindictiveness mm -hmm. in my book. Yeah, you know, listen, I always want a, a road for recovery really quickly for anybody, right? But this is kind of like a message for people out there. They're all so social justice warriors, right? Everyone's pointing the finger at everybody else until it catches up with you. Yeah. You want everybody's job. You want everybody else to go kill themselves from someone with a check mark that's in the public eye. That's a no-no. I'm with Tori on that. Mm -hmm. I do want them to recover from that. But don't think you live this perfect life where you're calling people out and all of a sudden it comes on you and now you're against this right. cancel culture when you're part of the problem to begin with. Yeah. Yep. Great point. Let's look at our final vote. DBL Nation says 77% of you say uh, no, she should wow. not be forgiven. Wow.